am i audible good evening everyone thank you so much today is a very special day for me for two reasons one i'm speaking at my alma mater jamuna bai nursery school and two i'm the first ever athlete to be invited to speak at this event i'm going to try my best i'll be speaking about sacrifice a word that we use to define the struggles that we make to get to where we aspire to be i will also be talking about about the sacrifices that not only me but also my family and my parents made to ensure that i become a professional table tennis player table tennis was not the most widely accepted sport back when i started limited resources and lack of infrastructure made it very hard for anyone to pursue it as a career but for some odd reason i decided to give it a shot i started playing in my building with my father and my grandfather when i was 8 years old they saw that i had a knack for this game there was something about the speed that really got to me i tried my hand at various other sports but none of them had the charm that this sport did just as a back story i was a very active child and this was a sport that really calmed me down in a way you'll probably hear this a couple of times today but i wouldn't be standing here without the sacrifices that my parents and my family made for me to start off i would like to talk about the sacrifices that my father made he is a very significant reason why i could pursue my sport of table tennis professionally it's not easy for a parent to quit their jobs just to travel with their kids and that's precisely what my father did he saw the passion he saw the passion that i had for the sport and he told me one thing do what you want in life but make sure you're putting in your 100% into it and stay true to yourself and that's exactly what i did the days when i felt demotivated the only thing i think of, thing i thought about was if my father could quit his job at the peak of his career the least i could do is give it my all the other thing that really kept playing in my mind was he said to me nishad i did not have the same resources when i was a kid due to financial restraints and the time was different but now he wanted to live that journey through my accomplishments and what i do in life and that really struck hard to me my mother and my sister also made a huge impact on me behind the scenes and the sacrifices that they made did not go unnoticed my mother is a housewife and my sister is a professional dancer the days that i was traveling and my father was accompanying me my mother made sure that my sister got what she needed to practice her dance daily you can imagine how difficult it would have been for her to juggle between making sure that everything in the house was in order making sure that my sister got what she needed to practice her dance daily and also making sure that when i am in town everything is taken care of for me the reason why i say behind the scenes is because i always had this mental peace of mind that whenever i'm at home everything will be taken care of because as you know mothers know it all and i've seen it first hand my parents have sacrificed crucial years of their life by providing for us not only financially but also by being physically present and that makes a huge difference living your life as a professional athlete is not easy you don't get to enjoy the usual things that your friends do but that's also what makes it worthwhile and exciting when i was competing at the highest level i used to train twice a day only finish my assignments and homework and make sure i get sufficient rest for the next day in a way i was like a horse blinded only to see in one direction table tennis i missed out on school life picnics school trips fifa nights with friends and the list goes on even though i missed out on all this i don't regret any of it i still remember i was in the 10th grade the year that i gave my board exams but that's also the year when i had a real chance at making it to the indian national table tennis team again 
I knew the pressure that I had to juggle between sports and academics. So I approached the management at Jamna Bai Nursi School and I requested them to allow me to train and compete all year round. And I promised them that once I'm done with my tournaments, I'll make sure I study hard and fare well in the boards. I studied for 20 days before the exam and I scored a 91%. And to top that, I also made it the Indian national team. This accomplishment gave me the confidence that if I really put my focus on something that really matters to me, I can do anything I want in life. Today, when I speak to students and teachers from my school, I sense that respect and humility that they have towards me. Because even though they were not directly part of my journey, they've seen the struggle and the perseverance that I had in me to get to where I am today. Whenever I'm in town, I always visit school and the management, just in a way to thank them for allowing me to pursue my dream of becoming a professional table tennis player. These experiences and sacrifices led me to represent India for over seven years in all age categories, at different protos around the world. It also enabled me to get into Sri Ram College of Commerce, which is in Delhi. It's the best college for commerce and business in India, and one of the best colleges in Asia. Eventually, I got into Columbia University, where I pursued my master's degree. Now that I think of it, if I had only focused on academics, when I was in school, I don't think I would go get into these premier institutions, mainly because they look for an all-rounder who has walked a different path in life that separates them from the rest. Playing an individual sport, it teaches you a lot about life in general. When you're playing a team sport, you have someone to cover up for your mistakes. But when you're playing a sport like table tennis, you're on your own. You are accountable for your mistakes, successes, and failures. The reason why I say table tennis specifically, of course I've played it, but also because the decision making, the split second decision making is what, what it has really taught me about life. I used to sit alone, analyze my opponent's game before a game in my mind, and it helps you think, strategize, and execute your plans. It helps you make decisions about life that probably you would not be able to make if you were not confident about yourself. And that's what taught me that confidence is key. But apart from all these learnings, the most critical lesson for me was to how to handle failure. See, I think in a way winning is easy. You can be really talented at something and you can still win at it. But winning can also make you complacent, lazy, and less focused. But failure is what slaps you hard in the face and makes you realize what you really need to work on. I apply all these learnings in everything I do today, be it a job or be it life in general. Whenever I have to make a really hard decision about my life, even my parents know that he'll do something. He knows what he's doing. And that's what so many years of playing a sport has taught me. My life as a professional athlete enabled me to travel across the globe and to the remotest of places in India. I've met people from different walks of life, different countries, and different cultures, and the experience was life-changing. Initially, what seemed to be sacrifices for us as a family turned out to be great experiences, which gave us happiness that we share together today. My advice to all the young students today is, like my father said, do what you want in life, but make sure you put your 100% into it. Once you do that, the ones around you will also try to help you in any way they can. And you too will experience the beautiful rewards of the sacrifices that you make. Thank you.